In this video, we'll be covering the path cut and path generator. So head to the place actors screen, and then we'll go to the biom generator first, actually, as this is what the path cut is actually going to cut out from. And once we have a biome, you should be able to see what the path cut does now. So let's add that in from the same location. And similar to our other systems, you can click on a spline point and drag this out to move it. You can also hold Alt to create new spline points. And as you can see, it's now cutting from our system. The path cut itself doesn't have many settings, but you can scale it to increase the cut range. And there is additional settings on the biome itself to control what's cut out with the path cut. So for example, if you just wanted to cut trees, that is possible to do. The path generator, which we'll add in now, is a bit more complex. So essentially it works the same as the path cut by cutting out from the bio, but it also works independently to create paths. So we'll just drag this along here now. And as you can see, it's cutting out the biome generator, but it's also spawning meshes and affecting the landscape. Um, all of this can be controlled within the path generator itself. So if you don't want the landscape to deform, you can disable that. So we'll press this now and you'll see the system will now stick to the landscape, no matter where the path spline is. You can also do quite a lot with this. So it can also be used to create roads, um, cobble paths, kind of whatever you want. So there's different mesh sets for all the different elements. And these are all controllable by the user. Not only can you spawn path meshes, you can also spawn meshes on the path meshes. So in the scenario we have, we have rocks for the path and twigs and leaves scattered on top. And like always, the settings on the graphs are very similar to all of our other systems. So you have control over all your assets and these can be changed at will. The assembly extents essentially makes the path bigger uh, in its width. And there also is um, a width setting as well to have, say, the left side of the path larger than the right. And that essentially sums it up for this system. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.